All right, here I am. He is about to do a show. Here we are at the Bloor Hot Dog Cinema. We have sparkling water everywhere. Nathan Fielder is with us. Nathan, thanks for being back on with Mr. Showbiz. Uh, always a pleasure, Daryl. Always a pleasure to to be on Mr. Showbiz. So, Nathan, before we get into the show here, um, bef- the photo, as everybody's looking right now, is you holding a bowl of oranges. It's a little stick I'm doing. Just so you are aware, you are the first person who it's actually going to be published, somebody holding a bowl of oranges. So thank you for doing that. Uh, you're, you're welcome. How did that idea come about? Uh, inside joke with friends in uh, Stag in San Francisco. Oh, that's good, I guess. <laughs> are you going to explain the joke to your audience? Yeah. So, well, I was on... You don't have to. Well, here, here's my line. A good day includes a bowl of oranges. Okay. I think even after you explain it, it still feels very inside. But uh, Well, um, so what we're going to do, though, is for... I'm happy to do it. Yeah, I'm happy to hold it. You're amazing. Your- for Neighbors 2, um, I think we're going to do like a prize giveaway where people are going to send in photos of them with bowls of oranges. So, I don't know. Um, I, uh, no comment? <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Nathan, for you, of course, on Comedy Central and much every Thursday. Um, Nathan, got to ask you, so I saw you do a show at Just for Laughs in Montreal last summer. Here you are now at the Bloor Hot Dog Cinema. You've sold out two shows here. You're going to New York after this. I mean, the one I saw in Montreal was a tiny little venue. This is insane, no? Well, last year I was a bit... I didn't know if anyone would show up because I had never done shows where people are coming to see just me. So I did, I booked all these theaters that were like 150 seats or 100 seats. And I wasn't even sure if those would sell out. But then they sold out really quickly. So then this year I'm doing a few shows that are a bit bigger venues. And I'm so happy that people in Toronto want to see it and that they're filled this theater. Two shows. Two shows. Yeah. I mean, I was, uh, I'm, I love Canada. I'm, f- <laughs> I'm from this country and I'm happy to have so many Canadian fans. Perfect. Uh, and you're going to New York after this. That one sold out also? Um, New York is sold yeah. out. Yeah. That's Crazy. sold out. So uh, tell us though about what Nathan Fielder does in these shows. What, what are people getting on the tour? So it's not really much of a tour. I'm just doing a few shows in cities where I'm kind of going to be anyways, but it's a pretty lazy tour based around my own convenience. Um, But I did do a couple. I did Boston too. And and I'm basically, it's a screening and Q&A. So it's not so much a live show, but I'll show episodes that haven't yet aired and some clips that haven't yet aired and talk about some stuff that happened behind the scenes and... I'll talk to the audience and answer their questions, and I might sing a song too. Okay, perfect. So I, I do. It's it's in my head, and I know I shouldn't do this in an interview. Basically, the bowl of oranges. <laughs> I'm going back to that. A friend said um, he loves being in London, England, because you can get a whole bowl of oranges for a pound. So that kind of just became a joke between us. So now I'm doing the bowl of oranges. Um, I love it. I, it's great. <laughs> um, Nathan, I do want to ask you though. March eighth, you were on The Simpsons. What was that like? Uh, That was a thrilling experience for me. I grew up watching that show, so it was amazing. But I, they just emailed my agents. I think the day before or something, just being like, "Will Nathan do this part?" And I was in New York at the time, and I just went to a studio there, and we did it really quickly. But uh, it was surreal to see myself in that show. And the other actors were around doing voices and everything, or were you in there by yourself? Oh, I was in there alone okay yeah so uh, they were talking to me through headsets from uh from another city in los <laughs> los angeles is the name of that other city <laughs> i've I, have ever has your have everyone heard of that i i it's rings a bell rings a bell like new york's the city everyone knows yeah. but los angeles is this other big city in in the united states so you see my notes here um the t- taiga is it tiger taiga taiga um I don't know. I say Tyga. Yeah, Tyga. Um, the Summit Ice Jacket, of course. Um, Doug Collins, the Holocaust Denier. Um, how proud of you, Nathan, that you came up with this and it's doing so great. You've raised a lot of money. Celebrities are wearing this coat. How proud of you are you of this? 
I'm I'm very proud. It's very exciting that um, this jacket, you know, which is, you know, the quality is really good and it's like weather resistant yeah. and it really cr it's helping to create awareness for one of the worst genocides ever. And I think it's I'm happy that people are embracing it. And I, when I found out that I, I had been wearing this jacket on the show, the Taiga one, you know, and they were supporting this i was my dad was genuinely he said he's like you can't wear that on tv it's bad so hopefully the money from the jackets go to the vancouver holocaust yeah. education center so hopefully that will help offset any negative you know propaganda that might come out of uh the other company because you've really got to go after them with this tip like well i i, I just said the facts yeah it's awesome. Um, Did you have a Tyga jacket? No, I didn't. And I was actually, I think I had Tyga shoes, actually, though. Like, I, I've probably had like 12 different Tyga jackets over my lifetime. I, I didn't know they made shoes. I, I will tell you, though, that uh, maybe I did have a Tyga jacket. I will tell you, though, that in Montreal, when I interviewed the, the Just for Last Festival, I looked. You were not wearing that Tyga jacket on the video interview that I did with you. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, that's surprising. I wore it a lot. But it was the summer, so, yeah. you know, it was probably really hot. Awesome. And uh, you got to do in your show um, a shout out to the Temple Shalom, your old synagogue. Yeah, yeah. it was featured. Um, we went from the normal still to like a photo yeah. negative, I think, of the still. Yeah. Yeah, that was my old synagogue. And that's because my dad wore his jacket there and he had this story that he told me about how he got shamed by someone there who said like, take that taiga thing off. That actually happened, eh? Yeah, yeah, it happened to my dad there. And I think he put a piece of tape over it, and the guy was okay with it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then um, in that episode, royalty-free football. I mean, I looked it up. You did a, a post. You, you talked about the USFL game between the Tampa Bay Bandits and the Houston Gamblers. I looked it up. It was March 8th, 1985, week two of the USFL season. <laughs> That was a funny bit, Nathan. I loved it. Yeah, I mean, you can't show NFL clips, you know, so we I, we just looked on Getty and found whatever clips they had, and that seemed like one of the more exciting, you know, moments. Yeah. And I, liked, I liked it when you went, I like how he's about to do this touchdown dance here. That was yeah. good. Yeah, I knew. I saw them all before, so I knew what was going to happen. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um. And the night before, um, you're going to be in this movie that's coming out. Uh, Seth Rogen, Anthony Mackie, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. First off, congratulations. Neighbors, you were actually cut from that movie. Yeah. So this one, you made it in. Barely, but yes. You'll, I'm in it uh, about the length we've been talking about it so far. <laughs> but uh, I, you know, I, hope, I think those guys worked really hard to make it super funny. So I hope people like it. And yeah. Uh, what was it like though shooting it, which I assume your first major motion picture appearance here? Um, it was interesting. There's a lot of waiting around and, you know, because when you're just acting in something, there's not a lot to do when you're not actually in the scene. You just kind of hang out and stand. And when I make my show, I'm doing all this stuff constantly. I have no free time. So in a way, it's kind of relaxing, but... Uh, you know, you go through every emotion. You're having fun, and sometimes you're bored, and sometimes. But I, it was cool to see how those guys kind of did it, and how they, you know, punch up jokes when they're doing it, and how they operate. That was the funnest part for me, just to see how they kind of put their movies together. So a learning experience watching Seth and Evan do yes. it. Yeah. In fact, that's the reason I do a lot of jobs, actually. <laughs> Not because I care about being in it as much as I want to see how other people make stuff. Are you learning anything sitting here talking to me right now, Nathan? Um, you have good posture, I guess. That's, <laughs> I'm noticing that. I'll take it. Uh, Nathan Fielder, Nathan, thank you so much for doing this. Um, last question. You're about to go on. The, what, what are the emotions right now? I mean, I guess you've done a few of these, but people have to know you are about to go on that stage and do a show here. What is the emotion right now? Um, the emotion is uh, I'm a little tired, but I'm excited to show stuff to crowds. The one thing I used to do stuff at shows here in Toronto um, my friend Tim Gilbert's actually in the room right now backstage here 
and we would we would make videos and we'd show them. <laughs> the lights just went out. Sorry. <laughs> We're backstage right here. The lights, <laughs> the lights have gone out. Nathan is waving around. There we go. We got lights back on. <laughs> Motion activated. So anyways, Tim and I would do these shows, and we'd do stuff at this uh, Laugh Sabbath here in Toronto, and we could make short films then show them all the time in front of an audience. But when you're making TV, you don't really have that opportunity as much. So it's nice, you know, after the shows are done, the episodes are done, to be able to screen them in front of people and just see how people respond in a room. Um, I still enjoy that part of the process a lot. Cool. And love these fans out here. Come to see it. Yeah. Uh, I'm so, so super uh, honored that people like the show enough to want to spend, <laughs> come out in the rain here to yeah. see... Uh, to see some stuff. Yeah. Two, two shows sold out. They were lined up around the block. Nathan Fielder with us. Nathan, thanks again for being on with Mr. Showbiz. Thanks, Daryl.